start straight to the point. And first of all, before we start, you told me you do low voltage integration and you want something for your business. Just so you know, we are we build this CRM based on the low voltage industry. Me, myself, I'm one of the owners and I'm actually 20 years doing low voltage integration. Exactly what you're doing, access control, alarm, cameras, Wi-Fi, distribution, fiber, anything in that sort. So um, I don't think you're going to see a system that is more robust uh, related exactly to your niche. Um, uh, and, and today it's kind of any service business needs that system. But, um, but let's jump in without me talking a lot. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Okay. So uh, let me just log into my security account. Okay, so um, let's start with how many employees you have? Uh, I have two. two. Right now. Yeah. Okay, so they work how? Hourly, salary based, uh, daily? How do you pay them? Uh, hourly. Hourly. So basically, you can come here, create people. We have different types of people concepts. One of them is members, members is your employees. When you create a member, you decide how you pay them. You pay them hourly, commission-based, per job, per whatever you want. And then when they clock in from their phone, you can see all their clock in and out. Let me show you, for example, last week. So I can search by my members. And you can see when they clock in, where they clock in from, where they clock out from and the time they clock out how much money I need to pay them in the end of the week or day or whatever it is, and how much do I need to pay my entire staff per week or per two weeks or per whatever time frame you're going to decide. Okay. Is that fair? Sure. Sounds good. Okay. And you can search by a specific member as well. So that's number one. If he forgets to clock in or out, you can always come here, click add time, and you can add for him a time frame that he came in and clock out. If you decide to do that. Okay. Yeah. So that's number one. Number two, you can chat with your employees. You can click and start conversation with timestamp and uh, watermark and all that. Okay. okay. Again, this is not the important things. Uh, all the all the different um, functions in the system, you can find under shortcuts. You click shortcuts and you can get quickly to customers or jobs or estimates or invoices, inventory, leads, whatever you need. Now, this is the main features. Actually, we have more features than this, but this is kind of the basic main ones, okay? Okay. Now, if you want, you can reorganize this order. So, for example, if I use GPS more than leads and GPS okay. is number nine, I can click here, six. I can change this to number nine. And now GPS is going to be here. Every time I'm going to click my shortcuts, GPS is going to be here. So, you can reorganize any employee, can reorganize the structure. And it's cool because you click shortcuts, you click customers, you're in the customer page or whatever you need. Okay. 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 Next, um, let's talk a little bit about the map and then I'm going to jump to the main things. So, for example, here I can look where my employee is. I can cl click here, Joe, let's say. I click, it shows me where he is. I can zoom in all the way to where he is or I can do a satellite view. And I can see where he's located right now. If he's moving and you have full permission on his phone to track him, you're going to see him traveling here in the road. Like okay. Uber. Okay. Now, another thing here, we have an option called job. Job is basically, as you can see, I have a green pinpoint here. In theory, you can create jobs and not assign them to a specific technician. So for example, that if you don't assign them, this job is going to be red, a red pinpoint. So for example, on this day, the, uh, the 14, let's say you have three pinpoints, red ones here, and three pinpoints red here. So you can just click on the pinpoint and assign that to uh, Eric, whatever. So all these three jobs are going to go to Eric, and all these three jobs are going to go to Joe Schmo. And that's how like Joe not going to start traveling from this side to this side all over the map and waste your expensive fuel. Today, fuel is expensive and all that stuff. Make okay. sense? Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so that's kind of navigation and all that. Now uh, let's talk about estimate invoicing. Then I'm gonna show you the jobs. Okay. Is that fair? Sure. Okay, so shortcuts estimate. Uh, let me show you real quick how estimate works. So I want to create an estimate. I come here, create estimate. I look for a client, let's say David, whatever. And I start building. So I have two options here. I can start adding line items. So I can start typing here DVR and then like a hard drive, four terabytes, uh, dome cameras, motorized, whatever, 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 and keep building my quote. And then changing, okay, for cameras, for this, for that, that's kind of how people build a quote today. Uh -huh. Inst instead of that, I have choose a package. I can pre-build like different kind of kits and, uh, you know, an uh -huh. alarm kit or eight camera kit. So I can click on that and it will auto-populate everything for me. The only thing I need to change, if for example, it's a six camera job and not eight, I ju just change eight to six, six back boxes, and six cables and one day of labor instead of two or whatever it is and then my price gonna be five grand or whatever it is here what does the final pr uh, print look like what is the uh... how it looks like i'll show you so if yeah. i click save uh -huh. and the final result looks like this okay so this is the final result that's your logo estimate high quality security system this quote itself have 40 different templates to choose from 32 i, I guess okay and uh, you can drill down then you have subtotal total if you add the discount it's gonna say discount you can add terms and conditions you can add a signature and you can add back pages for example our best services or we also offer alarm intercom this that so they know that we're not just doing cameras if you need one of those we do that as well um so i can uh, create a package where it would have the uh, product brief in the uh, expand in the uh, invoices product in the estimates brief. what do you mean product brief so this is what you're what, uh, this sheet can this be like the height visions nvr can it be details of the cameras and so on and so forth this is the like here, for example, it's gonna be high vision and stuff like that. Uh huh. Here it says high vision, 4K, NVR, A channel, blah blah blah. Okay, and the very last page can that be high vision stuff? That right there. Yeah, yeah, of course. You you can upload. I'll show you that. Let okay. me just show you a few more things before we talk about that. Okay. Okay. Another cool thing. So you saw how it looks. Now I can add another thing called payment schedule. I yeah. can click here set and I can say, you know what? I want 50% down and I want 50% upon completion. Yes. That's how most people work. Yeah. So I click here, save. And then when I download it again, sorry about that guys. If I download that again, you're gonna see now. So again, the same thing, but now I have a payment schedule, you see? So, for example, you put 50%, it's already doing the breakdown for me. Okay. Okay. Can now, the, can this, uh, can that section be modified, add more verbiage and more information or? Uh, everything, everything here is super customizable. And uh -huh. I'll show you how you can customize everything you want. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So, so far, so good. Now, I, now here you can email that to the client and let's put my email just so you can see okay and let's say that's fine let me send that okay now basically i go here i go to my email i check my email i got an estimate this is how it's gonna look like the total is 5300 you accept decline or remind me later if you accept it it becomes an invoice and it will resend it to you an invoice. If you decline, it's gonna say, hey, we are sorry to hear about that. That's another message you can create. And it asks you, and it sends a message to the owner, to you, for example, hey, this guy declined the message, declined the quote, please give him a call and try to get it done. And remind me later, you can remind me later in a week from now, and it will remind you to close the deal again. All right. Another thing is that you can activate a follow-up 
So you can create like a, it will start bothering the client every three days, seven days, whatever. You can create like a follow-up sequence. Uh -huh. And until he doesn't approve and makes it an invoice, it's not going to stop bothering him. Okay. Until he likes decline it or he accept it. And then it will stop bothering him. But if he accepts it, it becomes an invoice. And then we basically asking for payment. Okay. So you have automation, follow-up automation as well here. Okay. okay. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, uh, you have any question about estimates for me or do you want to see some of the customization sections? Um, you did a pull down when you did a high vision. It, you did a pull down. I gave you a bunch of options. So we have to build some sort of inventory, correct? Basically, uh, yeah. And Show me that. Okay. Show you the inventory? Yeah, how do I build inventory? Yeah. Yeah, so this is the inventory. You click here. You can download the CSV file, upload the CSV file of existing things. But if you don't have that, you basically come here, new product. It's an inventory item that sits in your inventory, non-inventory or service item. So the if CBS, I click on- The uh -huh. CVS download, can I download um, um, the list of equipment that I have in Tigerpaw? Wherever you have it, you can download it, organize it in the way we're asking you to organize it and just upload it. All your products, even thousands, will be in one second in your system. Can I do that with a client's customers too? Everything, customers, leads, any any module, you can do that. Oh, okay. we, can we can just uh, uh, download or upload uh, the uh, CVS files, right? Yes, sir. Perfect, okay. So, and again, I'm going to show that. So again, here you have this, the, download the demo file and then upload the, the file that after you did it, you upload and it will upload all your products at once. Each product, you can add an image. You can add a quantity. If it's a, a inventory item, you can put a quantity. So if I put a product that is inventory item, it have more, like you have tagging, you can put serial numbers, you can start scanning with the barcodes. You can put a low stock alert, like when I get to three, let me know. You have a warranty time frame for this, three years. You have serial numbers uh, scanning, you have variations. Um, when you put a price, let's say $100 sale and a $50 buy, it will tell you how much profit you make. And that helps you in the end of the month to calculate like, profit and losses and stuff like that. Again, I'm not going to bother you with this. It's not, it's, I'm going too deep, but in general, it, it can go very, very deep and you can do really crazy stuff here. Okay? okay. So if you ask me, that's how you do it. And then you have sold items, field, on, on field items, like what equipment your employees have in their trucks kind of deal, what was returned to suppliers. So you have a track on that as well uh, and so on and so forth. Again, okay. not, not going to waste your time on that. Then we have basically invoices. Uh -huh. So invoices, I can come to an invoice. Oh, before I do invoice, we have settings and we have a payment gateways. Now we today offer three payment gateways. One of them is PayPal. One of them is authorized.net. One of them is Stripe. Okay. Authorized.net is basically Visa, worldwide Visa. You can use any bank, any merchant services that you have currently, they will give you authorized.net access. Everybody work with authorized.net. If you don't have that, I can refer you one of the people we work with and he will open an authorized.net for you in less than one day. Okay. Uh, Stripe, you can open by yourself. PayPal, you can open by yourself. You don't need our help for that. Yeah, okay. we have those already. You, you have what? Stripe and PayPal. Oh, okay. So you can integrate all of those basically, okay? okay. Then, then what happens, I can, uh, now Stripe have more power than PayPal, just so you know, because with Stripe, I can ask for people to, to pay with their bank account, not only with the credit card, okay? Same with authorized.net, PayPal doesn't offer that, okay? Okay. Okay, now next, next thing is, let's say Stripe. Stripe uh, charging you today, let's say 3%, right? Give or take. Yeah. Because you're doing card not present. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Now we have a thing here. Um, we have a thing called convenience fee. 
convenience fee is basically a way for you not to pay those fee at all. So here you can put the percent that you get from Stripe, let's say 3%, and you can save that, okay? And then what happens is, let's say I go, I create an invoice, and uh, let me let me check for example a customer that they have uh, let's say this customer so let's go to transactions uh, transaction create invoice let's create an invoice real quick just for the heck of it and save and send okay so i want to add a payment option and I can choose any payment option that integrates with me. Let's say I'm going to use authorize.net or Stripe. I don't have Stripe connected here, but authorize.net is going to be kind of like Stripe. So I click send an email. And then if I go here and I refresh that, uh, I got the invoice. It will come something like this. Hello, whatever. We are very happy to work with you. Then you have like, the invoice itself and you have card or bank how to choose a payment method you see if i click card it will open authorize.net now the cool part that i want to show you about this is you see the original price was 5360 if you remember yeah but, but the convenience fee was added for 160 dollars. so now the total is 550 55.20 in this case i'm not paying anything for stripe all the money is clean to my pocket if you want the convenience of paying with the credit card, okay, pay me 3%. That's our convenience fee. Now, um, again, if you don't want that, you can always leave it at 0%. But uh, again, we offer that just so you know it exists. A lot of companies use that. Even today when you call the power company, like government companies, and you want to pay your power bill, they tell you, do you want to pay with the... With the bank account do you want us to give you our mailing address for check or you want to use our whatever you know like um some third party company but there is a convenience fee of three percent or two percent or whatever it is do you want to continue with that a lot of people yes they want to continue because they want to get it over with and they want to pay with credit card so yes there is some fee to use that if you want to okay okay but again this is just your decision you decide how to work with that and then here you can decide uh, if you want to add a tip. So for example, I like your guy, he was amazing, your technician. Of course, I'm not gonna give you 15% tip for five grand because it's crazy. So okay. I want to leave a custom tip of uh, whatever, 50 bucks. So now it's gonna be 5570 instead of 5520. And that's it. And I can pay now or I can pay half or whatever you want him to pay and that's it. Is that cool? Sure, yeah. Okay. Now, another thing related to invoice, I can send an SMS, invoice in an SMS, and make all these payment transaction through SMS. Do you want to see that, or you know how that works? Uh, no, let's just go to uh, the other stuff. Go to the reports, jobs, leads, okay. all that stuff. Okay, I will go. But uh, just so you know, we have another cool thing here. Okay, let's go to jobs and we'll go from there. Okay. So either way, you can send an SMS and people can pay their invoice with an SMS. They click on a button and make a payment, okay? Okay. Just trust me, it, it exists if you want me to jump over. Okay. Okay, next. So now jobs. So I can create a job. Let's create a job from scratch, show you how it worked, a job together. So I do Shahab cameras and the client i'm gonna put i don't have a shab as a client so let's use that for now description and uh, give me a description you're gonna put for a job uh install cameras okay uh, any requirements bring a ladder let's say okay yeah okay when do we start that let's say tomorrow what time 8 a.m if you don't know the end time you can leave it open if it's like a half a day job or whatever you can say okay i i want to finish like at uh, 2 p.m i believe it's going to be done uh, arrival window is like the time frame we're going to be between eight and what so arrival window let's say it's one hour window 
job category is like folders. You can put it in a specific folder. So you can create folders, fire alarm, this, that, and put it in a specific folder. That's only for your organizational needs. Then we have create an invoice. So if you want to charge hourly based or stuff, so if I don't choose that, I can basically base it on an existing invoice that I have for this guy. Remember, we did an invoice for 5360. Yeah. So this is the invoice. I can base it on that. But okay. sometimes you want to do a service call. So you can say, no, I want to create an invoice like hourly or fixed price or whatever. And I want it to be, uh, how much do you charge for a service call, for example? 135. And how much do you charge for a trip charge? 75. Okay, so I can do it like that. And then it will create the invoice as we go, like invoice based on the time is there. So let's do that just because to, to add an existing invoice, it will not show you something special. I want to show you something new. So now service provided. You can create different services like CCTV, access, blah, blah. Anyone that you click here, let's say I click vacuum installation, like a central vac. So for example, I have only one guy can do that. But if I put, for example, CCTV, so there is a lot of people that can do that. So based on the service that you add, you add that service to a member. And then Mary, if she creates a job, she doesn't need to think who can do this job. It will already jump. Only the people that can actually do the job, it will come. Maybe when you have two people, it doesn't matter. But as you keep growing, it helps you because access control, not everybody know how to do uh, I don't know, fire system is different than security cameras, than cable run that everybody can do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So either way, so I click Joe Schmo and that's fine. Or you can put multiple people on a job, uh, assign third party. So that's not for you, but basically um, I just saying not for you because I know your business, but uh, this is more for people that pay their, their employees commission and they buy leads from a third party. So let's say from the lead company, I'm paying them 20% from their lead. And then I do with my member 50-50. So for that kind of combination, you need that, but you don't gonna use that. So forget about that. And then there is here an option called select a plan. Uh, I'll show you what that means, uh, but not now. And then, uh, then I want to add the client. I want to notify my client and I can notify with SMS my technician. So I click save, basically I created the job now. I hope I'm not talking too much and not confusing you. No, that's fine. Uh, so here I click again, let's jump here. I can click on jobs. Now I have Shahab cameras job. Uh, I can click on that. So this is how it opens. Uh, Shahab cameras, this is the client name. I can see install four cameras, bring a ladder. And uh, that's the details of the guy. If I click here on his phone, it's going to try to call him. I can call. I can click here on my way. That will send a message to the client that we are on the way to his location. Then reached. It's like, hey, we are outside your door. We'll be with you shortly. End of day, like, hey, we left the site. If you click here, job location, it's going to give you all the options on your phone. So if you have Apple, Google, Waze, you can navigate to the client. So if I choose ways, let's say, it's gonna say something like this. Let's go, okay. 300 feet, turn right, then turn left. Okay, so this is kind of how that works. Then basically, let's go back to this. If I click start time, so now it starts the time, the clock is ticking here. And I put my phone in my pocket. I work, work, work. I finish my work in the end of the day. If I didn't finish, by the way, because it's a big job, I can pause and oh. then start, then pause, starts, pause until I finish. If I finished in the end of the day, I can just click. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I can click completed. So I click completed. When I click completed, it asks you, hey, before we finish, did you add any additional cost? Like, did you have any receipts from Home Depot or you bought some conduit or you stopped somewhere and bought something? You can put a title, put the cost, add a picture of the receipt and you can add as many as you want like that, more and more like that. If you don't, you don't need to add that and you can just skip, okay? 
But sometimes your guy is going to Home Depot and that's important at the end of the day to know the total cost of that job. Okay. So right now it starts building my invoice. So as you can see, it puts my logo, invoice, invoice number, client name and address and start adding products. If you want to add more products, you can click here, add more rows. But in general, what it built so far, I did less than an hour. So it's 135, trip charge 75. Total is going to be $210. You can give some discount if you want. You can add taxes on top of that. And you can click submit. If you click submit, then you can take a signature from the client, like, like so. You can uh -huh. take some note, uh, NVR code is 123456. Again, I'm kind of... Uh, That's because fine. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now when you're pausing a job, it will ask you what is your progress. Because I finished the job, it's already automatically takes it to 100 percent But if I if I'm like a, you know finished for the day, I can put it for 20 percent. And then like you as the owner, you see oh with 20 percent done, I know like you know you know how much percent done and how much more to go kind of. Way. <laughs> now I can take a picture, so I can take a picture of the job. So, for example, I take this picture of this nice camera on the side of my office. Okay, whatever that I don't have a camera there. Um, and then here I type uh, front office. And then you're putting like more and more name. You can name any camera you want. Then I click submit. Do you want to take the payment directly now from the client? Yes. Cash, check, credit card, whatever. And then eventually what happens if I log in here, again, just to show you the end result, you can see that the invoice amount finished with 210. And I can look at the report. The report is cool. I see the signature. I can open the picture real quick to see what pictures it took the guy. And if there was total extra expense, I can see them here. All the travel time and everything until he stopped with timestamps and all. And I can see the invoice that was created. I can see the job is completed. I can download the report for my records if I want to. So I can download this from my records with the picture, with the signature, with the extra expenses and so on and so forth. Okay. Yeah. Um, again, I'm talking fast and a lot. So let me stop for a second and ask you if you have questions. Um, no. Do you have uh, instructions and uh, any kind of YouTubes online in case we come up with questions that we can uh, refer to them as yes. or a user guide on this? Yes, yes, of course. I'll, okay. I'll show you that in a second. Can I show you something, another thing that is very cool? Yeah, 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 go ahead. Okay, so this is kind of job. Again, the, there is more things you can do, of course. Again, not gonna waste your time, but I have something very cool that's called send a review. And um, you can do, you can click on this button. It will send a review to the customer. The customer will get something like that. Uh, review us. If I click on that, it will say, hello, customer. Few moments of your time will mean the world to us. Please click below to share your experience with our company. You can click here, leave a review. It will put your logo. How likely it is you would recommend us to your friend or family member? One is not likely, 10 is extremely likely. So if he puts one to seven, let's say I put one, so I can put my comment. Oh, Shaib did a very bad job. I don't like him, whatever, whatever. He feels like he gave you a bad review. He clicks submit. The only one that see it is you. If he puts here eight, nine or 10, let's say I put 10, it's already, I know it's going to put a good review. So it's going to take him to Google account and he can just leave his review. I can even take you to Google account with five-star review already built in. The only thing you need is just to leave your review here and click post. And I know it's going to be good because you gave me 10. If you gave me one, I know you're going to put a bad review. So I'm not going to send you anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You are laughing, but it's actually cool, no? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, how long have you, long have you had this uh, software? Uh, but before, before that, look, look how cool it is. So, on the survey side, after they give you the reviews, you have a reviews option. Uh -huh. But when they give you ten, 
Uh-huh. Like you see, based on a job, for example, you know that uh, it's just saying good job, you got the rating of 10. But if they give you one, uh, so they leave a bad review, the only one that see it is you. Not happy, David did a good, a bad job. And you know the customer is Coco, so you know that Alex did the job for Coco. Maybe I need to talk to Alex why Coco is not happy with us. Or maybe eventually I need to fire Alex because all of his clients giving him one-star review, you know? Okay, yeah. Okay. So, so that's kind of the deal with that. Let me show you two more things that you never saw in your life. Is that cool? Yes. <laughs> okay. So so that's one thing that I knew you're going to love. So I kind of wanted to show you that. Another thing that you're going to like is a plan room. So plan room, for example, let's say I do a job for a house of a Mary. Okay. Mary house. Okay. Okay. And let's say here, you're gonna choose your Shlomo, whatever, because I don't have Mary as a client. And I am gonna install for her eight cameras. So you come, you're sending your guy to take a quote on a job. And so he comes, yes, you need eight cameras. So you start building the quote, DVR, hard drive, eight cameras, blah, 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 total five grand, whatever it is. Yeah. But eventually when the guy, Joe Schmo goes to do the job, he doesn't know exactly where the cameras need to go because he wasn't the salesman sometime. So he calls you, hey, where do I need to put the cameras here? And then you're saying, oh, look, on the right side, on the left side, whatever. So you yeah. have something better. So you can basically open here. I can, let, let's say I can put the front of the house. I can put the picture, then the left of the house and, and show where the camera is gonna go. As yeah. you can see here on the side, I have all the cameras. Uh-huh. I can upload like icons of cameras, IP, whatever, doorbells, and just uh, drag and drop it to my picture. So okay. for example, here, I'm going to show you uh, the house that I want Mary to have when she's going to, uh, in a few years from now, she's going to save a lot of money. And then she's going to be able to buy this house that I'm going to show you now. And a mansion already in, in Hollywood. Okay, look, this is the house I, I want her to have. Yeah. Tell me if she likes it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, oh yeah, this looks like the one that she has right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it does. laughs> Except okay. the, the pool is not that much water. <laughs> the pool doesn't go all the way around. I know. <laughs> okay, so basically here on the side, you can drag and drop images like uh-huh. here. Yeah whatever and maybe a dome camera right here like here whatever and you can start the drawing things this thing and some text here whatever whatever then you click save image and you can keep adding more images and put the front of now i save that then i can put another image another image and then i create my plan and then when i create a job like i showed you before I can basically attach a plan. So right now you don't see nothing, but if I choose the same client, Shlomo, uh, you can see that here you have Mary house. So the technician opens and you see what exactly you need to install. Is that cool? Oh yeah, that's real good. Yeah. Okay, beside that, you can create uh, one more thing I'm gonna tell you and that's it. I'll move on from jobs because jobs is a big thing. You can do a lot of things, but just so you know, you can come here, customization, and you can create forms. So you can create basically a, a form uh, and you can start d- drag, dragging and dropping like, what do you want him to fill out? So if I want him to do like a radio buttons and I can edit that each button, what exactly he did. So he can, like a checklist, you know, he fills out, did you do that? Yes, no, uh, yeah. click an option, select bar. Uh, whatever so you can select one of the options and everything here you can add it and then you save that and you add the form to a job and then when you finish a job you can fill out the form whatever whatever again i'm not gonna bother you but you just so you know you can do a lot more stuff okay uh, in general okay yep. let's move on you have booking another thing is booking booking is a uh, give me your company name real quick comtech c-o-m-t-e-c Okay, so you can create, what's your logo color? Purple. Purple. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay, so you can set up your hours of operation. 
how many bookings people can do, fill out this information, send an SMS as well, save, and then you can create a preview. It's gonna look something like that. People can come to schedule a service call with you, choose the call, the service they need, finish this information, click save appointment. It will become a lead. It will add to your calendar. It will send you an email that there is a new booking. The client will get an SMS, an email, and so on and so forth. And then you can just assign him a technician to do this job. So this is a uh, uh, client uh, uh, portal, correct? No, this is, you come here, you click short code, you take this code, uh -huh. you take this code like this and you copy paste it to your website. And then in the contact us, you can have a schedule a, an appointment with us, for example. I see, okay. So the client doesn't need any, any portal. Trust okay. me, he will never go to his portal either way. Okay. Okay. So they just they just fill this form out and then we get an email, correct? Or it's an show email if, our... if you activate the SMS, you can. Okay, so I'm saying you're gonna get an SMS email. Yeah. You're gonna get it in the calendar. You're gonna get a new lead, and you're gonna get a notification. So uh -huh. for sure, you're gonna know that you got a lead. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now let's move to something again you never saw in your life. This is something there is still company doing that. But what I'm going to show you now, you never see in your life. You want to see something cool? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, you can go to bookings and you can uh -huh. go to packages. Okay. So you can create like different packages. Okay. Again, this is just a demo that I did, but never mind. So you can create packages and then you have a preview. Okay, so imagine that I don't have this catering because I just showed it to a catering company. Okay. So imagine that we have this kind of thing on your website, okay? Uh-huh. Uh, so you have four camera package, eight camera, 16 camera, everything included with three-year warranty, installation, everything out the door for, for this amount, whatever. Okay. This one is a complete full-blown automation, meaning okay. if I click, yes, I want this. Okay, I want order now. When do you want it to do to, 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 uh, to us to install it. I want in this date. Okay, what time? That time is good for me. He fill out this information. He okay. put his house number. He click book and pay. He make the payment half down. It's already going to, it's creating the job for you. It's creating the customer for you. It's creating the invoice for you. The only thing you need to do is just to assign a member. That's all. Then the job is done. It will create an invoice when the job is done. It will do the, it will send the review automatically. This is a complete full blown automation. And the cool part about that is beside the fact that they don't need to call or talk to anyone, these packages as well, they have the short code. So you can take that, put it on your website under a, under a thing called packages. And if you want to offer that, that's cool. You know, like, Hey, we have this kind of packages that people can just come and and create that, make all the payments, everything. But for the payments and all, just remember, you need to integrate Stripe or one of those because if not, they won't be able to pay you, okay? Okay. So again, this is just another cool thing that I uh, want to show you that exists. You don't have to use anything that I'm telling you. But again, you have marketing, you can create templates, you can create like this and start dragging and dropping some like MailChimp concept and uh, create that create like your logo, whatever, and then go to your customers and you can mark all your customer bulk, you mark your customer and just send everyone an email or SMS or or whatever. You can do so many things here, uh -huh. uh, marketing related and uh, job related and calendars and reports and whatever, whatever. Okay, so okay. that's kind of my spiel. Now you ask me anything. Uh, I have uh, more things to show you. But uh, let me stop there. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't have much time to go on this thing. We'll, uh, so what we want to do is um, basically get started uh, with creating some accounts, some customers. And uh, we want to be able to uh, create some inventory. And I want to be able to uh, create some proposals. Right now, I have uh, several platforms that I can uh, um, uh, go for uh, their
cabling projects uh, like uh, general contractors and uh, subcontracting to uh, some of these GCs for uh, voice and data cabling. Yeah. I want to know how do I uh, create the customer, create that lead, uh, inventory, how do I create that inventory and uh, be able to uh, generate quick proposals and send it out to them. And in those uh, additional paperwork that you were talking about at the end of your quotes and uh, your, um, I guess, proposals, I want to be able to add my own like certificate of insurance and my own profile to that. That's what we want to do right now. It, so for the next couple of, uh, I guess, in, a tri in our trial, we want to be able to uh, get several of those accomplished. Create the customer, create the uh, uh, inventory, and send proposals out as a package as quickly as possible. That's okay. the... Uh, Okay, that, let, me, let, let me show you before, before we hang up now. Yeah. I just want to show you like a quick way to do everything you just said. Okay. In less than, in a click of a button, literally. Okay. Okay. So let's say I'm here on the dashboard. I don't go anywhere. I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Now I want to create a customer. Okay. You have a button here called actions. Actions is a one click to one click to, to make anything happen. Okay. So for example, I want to create a customer. I come here, add a customer. I click, okay. I'm already creating the customer. The customer is Shahab. Okay. Okay. His phone number is uh, 321-321-5555, whatever. His email is shahab at gmail.com. Okay. Yeah. That, that's for example, what I want to do. Now from here, if I want, I can click save and continue. I want to keep going. Or I can add an address here. 4545, yeah. whatever. And it found it on the map. Okay. Now I want to continue. Save and continue. Now I go to estimate. I want to create an estimate. Estimate. Create an estimate. Create an estimate. Okay. Now I choose a package. I can create packages beforehand. Full. Done. Buy. That's it. That's how fast you can create email in literally three seconds. No bullshit. Okay. <laughs> no, no. I'm showing you how fast it is. Really. It's like three seconds. I don't know. You build quotes, right? It takes time, right? Yeah, it does. It does. There's a lot of uh, plans that we had to go through. Some of them have uh, 15 uh, cat six drops. 19 right. cameras so you can, you can try to create as many plans as possible and then you can add plans together a again look i just want to show you real quick if i go to this shop customer that i created i don't have to do look i just gonna show you real quick estimates let's edit whatever create estimate doesn't matter so <clears throat> let's say i create a pack i choose a package eight camera now I can add another cam package to that. I said, okay, eight cameras and I want alarm kit. So now I have two quotes. You see this and then the alarm kit. Maybe yeah. I forgot to add a doorbell. I can add separately here, doorbell. Yeah. Okay, let's assume I have this doorbell, uh, ring doorbell. And now let's say it cost uh, one unit of that, cost a hundred bucks. And I can even hold that and I want, want to drag it here because I want it to be next to this. Yeah. So you can drag and drop inside the quote. You can really do anything. I give him a, a $100 discount. I choose a tax bracket and I click save and send or save. Let me save it just to show you how I build a bigger quote. And let's say even I'm going to give you uh, the, the schedule thing that we talked about. Uh, so that that's how you do it pretty quick again i i'm pretty much controlling the system like i know it upside down so i do it fast but again you should be after some time be able to create the same kind of quote you see full blown with the discounts with the, the deposits with the schedules with terms and conditions you can have a long terms and condition by the way you can even have that each product gonna have an image next to it okay okay so just uh, to show you so this kind of like if you need anything create a quick customer or a lead or a task or anything you need you do it here if you need to change permission of your employee you do it here 
If a customer calls you, doesn't matter where you are, a customer calls you, hey, hello, what's your name, sir? My name is David. You can call, you can click on his name, look for David, you jump, boom, to his account, and you can see anything about him, all the notes, all the attachments, jobs that you did for him, all the plans, invoices, estimate, everything that's related to this customer, you're going to know. Um, <clears throat> so that's basically related to that. And now I'm going to show you real quick another thing, and I'm leaving you alone. So we have customization. Here you have a thing called pages. So if uh -huh. I go to pages, here I can set up my front page for the estimate. Another front page. So page number two for estimate front. Yeah. First page to back, second page to the back of the estimate. Same thing on the invoice and so on. You can add uh, the text that will come in the email. You can add terms and conditions. You can add images of each product inside the estimate. You can add signatures. And then you click save. Okay, that's how you do it. That's called pages. Okay. Um, what else did you ask me? So ju just so you know that, another thing, we have templates. You can set up all the different templates that feel like that you want with the coloring that fits your company need. And... Uh, here you create forms that you want, SMS templates. You can create all the SMS that go to the customer when you are on the way, reached all that good stuff. There is a million different SMS types, as you can see. And that's it. Let me leave you there. Start playing with the system. When you log in on the trial, you have a dashboard. We have a video tutorials. You can click on that. That will teach you like the first steps and actions, all this stuff that I talked about. So you can uh -huh. play, pause, try it out, play, pause. Not like reading blogs and articles of knowledge bases. That will be yeah. a nightmare for you. Yeah. And we made that simplified it with videos. And we believe that people, it's easier to play, pause, and then try it out. And so that's, so again, that's only existing in the dashboard under video tutorials. Remember that? And another thing, if uh, you are stuck or Mary is stuck, you can go to settings. We have a support page. You can open the support, click any topic. If you need pictures uh, in estimates, whatever I need to do that. So it will tell you everything related to that. Add or remove pictures, blah, blah, blah. So you can search. You can always chat with us on with the support. So we're really giving you all the kind of variation options and to chat with us and get support and this is another important button for you refer a friend and uh, you click on that and then you refer your friend to us and we give you 50 dollar gift card that's an amazing feature that we have that will um, as far as uh, david the pricing you have uh, you showed us at 25 dollar per user and 35 dollar uh per user pricing yeah um uh so let, so we finished the platform you understand everything there now let's talk about pricing okay yeah so for the end pricing we have 25 dollars per month and 35 dollars per month the difference between them is 25 dollars is when you pay annually per member now admin is free you as the admin child is free Every member that you have under you is $25 a month. Meaning if I need to track that person, any change you're doing in the system that I want to see who changed that thing or sold that thing or really be able to track any kind of transaction in the system, that will be a member. That member pays $25. Again, if you pay annually, you save 40%. If he pays month to month, if you pay month to month and you don't want to commit to an, a year, so it's $35 a month. It's $10 more a month. That's all. So if I, I can do the exact same thing as a member does, but mine is free and that member pays 25 bucks a month. So uh, how much would it be for Mary and I to use this on annual basis? Uh, you and Mary... Um, me and Mary, and then uh, you know what I would. So the uh, the mobile user that you you referred to that would clock in and clock out is that a member? Yes. Ah, I see. So I would need three. 
Okay, so three. So three, for example, it's gonna be nine hundred dollars for the year. Three. Okay, so it would be three hundred dollars. So it would be twenty-five times uh, twenty-five times twelve times three. Three hundred bucks, and each of us. So uh, me as an admin, do I I pay three hundred dollars as well? No, you don't need to pay because you are the admin. I said admin is free. Okay, so it would be. So it would be me as the admin, Mary and Frank would be the other two. So it would be $600 a- $600 annual. for the year for everyone together combined. Okay, all right. Let us play around with this thing. And if I got any questions, David, I will drop you an email yeah. and we'll go through a tutorial, go through support. And then we'll decide on whether, uh, uh, what we're gonna do at the end of our trial. Okay, and then now after all my presentation, can I ask you a question? Yes. Okay, compared to the company that you said that are exactly specializing in this field, Tiger, Tiger or something, Paul. yeah. Tiger Paw. Tiger Paw. So if you compare us to Tiger Paw, what, what do you think? Uh, I really want to know because I, I never played with Tiger Paw. So functionality wise and everything you saw is that, like, can you just give me like, what do you think really from your point of view? Uh, yeah, no, your uh, yours, uh, graphic interface the, uh, is very uh, different than theirs. They don't have this graphic interface at all. They, um, they rely more on uh, data where you would enter fields and they do not provide any kind of uh, um, user, uh, um, user friendly experience at all like your, yours does. So you would have to, uh, it, it, theirs is, compared to yours, is theirs is very cumbersome. And they do not have this many uh, um, fields or they, they, don't ha they do not have this many categories for uh, selections and uh, options for the end user being us. And they uh, are, they, they were, inexpensive initially but they have gone through the roof because they changed their business plan and so we are moving away from them and that's why i was asking that uh, upload and download of the cvs's where we are going to try to get our uh database uh, it's on sql da database right now we're going to get that out and now we want to see if we can upload it into this system if it's even possible otherwise we have to start from scratch all over again, which no, is no, not you can very uploaded very, very easily. If you need and you're happy, you can contact us and we are going to attach one of our uh, uh, success managers. He's going to join you and he will show you step by step how you do it. If you're getting any problem, he will just help you to upload that. It really literally take five minutes. Yeah, that's probably where that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that transition from tiger paw to something else so whether is this whether salesforce or whether we i looked at all the uh, their bunch of the crms and um they're more like a collaborative or contacts or sales uh yours uh you know it just the, just having the word hike vision in there it's very familiar so um it, it is just right up our alley it is basically the uh the service industry that we are in. Do exactly. you cater to any other businesses as well, or is just uh, subcontracting and or uh, low voltage? Basically, between you and me, I can tell you that companies, all, first of all, companies all over the world use us, even in Thailand. And company, a lot of use that for anything. Like I have a magazine company that uh, delivers uh, magazines and they need to track the guy where he's going and how many he, how many newsletters he send and drop next to your door and uh, electricians or uh, stores or just people you know a lot of people have stores and they just want to send the invoice or take payment on the spot they use that uh, we have warehouses that use it only for inventory and invoicing uh, we have franchise companies that use it for multiple locations kind of concept. We have catering companies that use like the package feature more because they need to know when you order like a package and you want to, okay, I have 20 guests and stuff like that. And they don't want to talk to you. They just want you to go through a process. 
So you fill out the process by yourself and the catering order is getting filled out and that's it. One question on the accounting, we use uh, a QuickBooks and I want to be able to, would I be able to export and or connect my QuickBooks to the accounting? So whenever I create an invoice, does it create an invoice in Tiger in QuickBooks or does it send the information to QuickBooks? First, how does that, first that, of all, that forget, forget the word Tiger Pod. No, no, QuickBooks. Yeah, well, let's talk about QuickBooks. No, you said, does it go to Tiger Pod? And no, 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 not Tiger Pod. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I don't have access to Tiger Pod. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. Okay, so you go here to settings, you go to business profile, and we have connect to QuickBooks. If you click on that, you need to follow our steps, how to set up guide. You okay. download the how to set up guide, you fill out your client ID, the secret key, all that, and then you click connect. What happens at that point? You're going to be able, the first time you go to customers, you will need to click here. All your customers will be imported automatically without like download a CSV file and upload. You can import all your uh, same thing for inventory, same thing for invoices. So just to show you, you see import one time you import everything. One time you import estimates, one time you import invoices. That's it. From that point, all of that is synchronized now in our system. Everything from this point forward, let's say you create an estimate here. It goes to QuickBooks. You create an estimate in QuickBooks, it comes here. You create, so it's synchronized both ways in real time. Doesn't matter if it's a inter a inventory or customer or estimate or invoice. These four things are going back and forth. Does that make sense? Um, yeah. Um, is there any way to uh, just export invoices out of C this CRM to QuickBooks and that's it. I don't want anything to come back here to this account. I want things to go out of this account into QuickBooks. I want my accounting and financials separate for this from the CRM. Basically, if you're doing a complete integration, it will go both ways. You cannot just export without import. You can import, if you want, you can only import, I mean, without synchronizing but uh, you cannot you cannot just export i mean there is no option just to export out without without the real time synchronization because the api i don't know if you know what this api means but yeah. uh, so quickbooks api doesn't support that so quickbooks api for example supports two way synchronization or import so i'm giving you these both options uh, you cannot get the third option because it's not existing. Just export. It doesn't work. <clears throat> what are the limitations of your software? The limitation is, uh, uh, you know, there was a movie called Limitless. You saw that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's without the eating the pills. It just works. <laughs> okay. So there's no uh, limit on how many clients, how many invoices, how many of any of this it's just unlimited no there is one there there is two limits there is two limits sorry there is two limits number wow. one the, the limits is for real now customers and all that of course there is no limit but uh, there is limit of how many pictures you download eventually from jobs and all so we have a storage thing and the storage gives you two gigabytes by default if you cross the two gigabytes, you need to, to get another 10 gigabytes and that will cost you $10. So every 10 gigabytes above the two gigabytes, it's $10 extra. Is that per month or just one time? That's per month. Per month. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So, so gigabyte, ten, uh, you, I start with two gigabytes and then uh, after the two gigabytes goes to 10 gig uh for 10 bucks a month yeah for 10 gigs more so let's say you pay today 50 dollars a month let's say kind of deal and then you're gonna pay 60 dollars a month and then you're gonna have 12 gigabytes yeah i don't yeah. have to have everything on this site i mean if, if pictures and things that's fine i'll work something out but i do get pictures from the site and sometimes yeah, so if you want to send them on the side the pictures are something that eats a lot of uh, data 
And that's something that we charge. Now, another thing that we charge is uh, for phone system. So if, for example, I want to call my people from my system, like uh -huh. if I click on that and now I can call or text. So that costs another $10 a month for a phone number. You can buy a phone number with us. So you come here, you can buy actually a phone number. You call to phone and you buy a number. Give me your area code, for example, the three, the first three digits. 949. 949, like this? Yep. Okay, you click search. So it gives you, you see, it says California, whatever, whatever. And then you can choose one of these numbers that you want. Or you have next, 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 a lot of different numbers. So you can buy. And if you buy, it costs you $10. And then you can call, text, and people can text back to you. And the benefit of that is if somebody calls you, it will actually open the account of that person. So I already understand that. Or if he I, doesn't exist in my system, I can click and add him as a customer or as a lead uh, immediately from the platform, like stuff like that. So where, where, where does that number uh, ring to? This number now gonna ring to, what do you mean ring to? It's gonna ring to the system. So what does that mean? Does that mean that my I have a soft phone? The, the, my desktop gets a pop-up? Your, your, your desktop becomes a soft phone by default. Which uh, desktop? Is it Mary, me, Frank? Who, who, where does it go? I'll right now, all of... Uh, uh, no, basically, the admin have a number and each member can have his own number and then you can create like IVR. Hello and welcome to... Uh, to your company to sales click one two three and then it will start routing between the numbers but uh, whoever logs in as an admin all of those gonna get the phone number of the admin i see i see okay all right um so again there is more things you can do but that uh, of course gonna cost you some money because when you buy a number and you want to call it costs some extra money but okay. beside that you don't have any problem you can just enjoy the platform and uh, and you know in the future if you want to add something because again under a customer um i'm just gonna show you under a customer there is a, a option for a, there is option to see the call recordings and stuff like that you know great Ooh. Uh, Hannah, uh, so this is a cloud-based. Uh, what happens if your uh, services go down? It never goes down because it's protected with RAID uh, hard drives. So, and it's a server that based in the United States. So, uh, are you on Amazon or are you on your own? No, no, I'm on Rackspace. That's Rackspace. Kind of, okay. That's big. Uh, that's a huge monster company as well. Yeah, we sell a Rackspace as well. Okay, so you know. And then like here, you see there is calls, call record. I can see the calls, call recording, SMS, everything that I did with this client related to phone, I can do that as well. Okay. Okay, pretty cool? Yeah, very good. Thank you so much. Okay. It's been, uh, yeah, you, you've uh, I've held you up for an hour and a 15 minutes. Oh my God, I apologize. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. No worries. You said you said it was going to be 45 minutes, but I've kept you longer because I've had so many questions. But hold on a second, okay? Mary, do you have any questions? No. I, well, only the one I have is um, multiple clock in, in and out. And so mobile clock in, the, uh, the field technician, um, that every field technician has to, if I had hire more, and I have like three of them. Do I pay for each of them to clock in and out as a member? Basically, yes. Because not only that, you're gonna send them jobs. You're gonna, they're gonna create things. They're gonna do anything they're gonna do on the system. I want to track that. So each member that you want to track and pay salary eventually and all that is $25. Oh. And you're approaching tiger paw prices. <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> okay. Again, take your decision. I showed you what we can do. I think it's fair price. It's less than a dollar a day. And if you get another employee, so, you know, you pay him two grand, $25 extra just to manage him. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. 
So that's the way I we look at it. So free. And okay. this is the platform. This is what I showed you. So that's what you're gonna see on the app store. And just install that and you should be good. And you're gonna like it. Again, try it for free, 14 days. And hopefully you're gonna join the family. Okay, sounds good. Appreciate it, David. Thank you so much. Of course, it was a pleasure talking to you guys. Same here, same here. Take Bye, care. Mary. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.